Alright guys, I'm going to show you how to play um, any non-VGA compatible Dreamcast games. My VGA box is back here. Um, I got it off of eBay. Um, it works great. Except for some games. I'll go ahead and turn off the Dreamcast. We'll open up the tray, go to the main menu, you know. Alright. Now, I'm going to click on close the tray. We're going to close the tray. Still Rainbow Six. Okay, now, watch what happens. I'm sure you all recognize that sign if you're watching this video. Okay, so to get around this, and it only works on some Sega Dreamcast games. If you have dead batteries in your VMU, um, it'll work best because after it beeps, you flip it back to VGA mode. But when the before you turn the Dreamcast, you flip it to the TV mode if you have a VGA box. If you don't have a VGA box, I believe you unplug your VGA cable. So I'm going to ha go ahead and switch it. Now it's on TV, this red light right there. VGA is that one. Now, we're just going to wait for the beep when I turn it on. And then you flip it back. No, I, I don't want you to turn on your stupid Wii. Wii sucks. Okay, so we're going to turn it on here. Okay, it beeped. Flip it back to VGA. Your monitor will say input not supported, but just wait until the game loads. And kabam! Would you look at that? Yeah, you know, Sega Dreamcast is totally powered by Windows CE. Yeah, my ass. So, now you got Rainbow Six working. Um, the only game I really haven't had luck with is Guys of Arcadia. Just doesn't work, no matter what. Maybe there's a CD patch I can do or something. So I would love to play VGA, all, all these games on VGA. Who, who wants a shitty composite when you can have crystal clear VGA? Look at that. It's just like playing a PC game, nice and clear. Alright guys, well that has been a video on how to play non-VGA games non-VGA compatible games on your Sega Dreamcast with VGA. That's forced at VGA. Alright, thanks for watching.